So after trying out digital planning in 2020, I decided to go back to the paper planner setup. And if you're interested to see which two apps I do love and truly rage about for my digital planning, feel free to click this video up here. Don't get me wrong, I did not hate digital planning whatsoever, but I just felt the need to go back to paper planning so I could also incorporate a bit of journaling to my day, which includes morning and evening. And this planner I'm about to show you guys incorporates all that. Hey y'all, Shaz and Scarabs here. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. In this video, we're going to be talking about how I set up my paper planner for 2021 in order to be successful this year. And if you're interested, keep on watching. Before we actually dive into the video, I did another video last week on how to set up your goals for 2021, which will be essential if you watched that video first before you started setting up your planner. This way, you're going to set your big goals, your medium goals, and small goals. Feel free to click the end card up above to watch the video. So this is the High Performance Planner by Brandon Barchard, and I did get the full year pack, which includes six planners, one planner only occupies two months so you have to keep buying them every two months the bundle pack is worth your money the beginning of the page i do have my color code key that i use to distinguish events throughout my planner the beginning pages have assessments that you have to do before you start using the planner just so they can track your progress and growth over time the assessments assess your whole life as well as your habits so including health mental partner family friends mission experiences spirit finances learning how you seek clarity generate energy raise necessity increase productivity develop influence demonstrate courage and so forth once you complete your assessments you move on to the daily pages where you get to plan your to-do list and you start by dating the planner because the planner is undated for each daily page you have to start with a morning journaling session then you map out how your day is going to look like by the hour then in the notes section you can just write whatever you want then by the end of the day there's another evening journaling session i also like the prioritizing system in this planner where you just distinguish the tasks that you must complete for the day then by the end of the day you have to score yourself and your habits the next few pages are weekly pages weekly pages then by the end of one week you have a weekly overview which you do more assessments and this is where you compare and contrast whether you're improving or not. After all the daily pages, weekly pages and weekly reviews, at the end of one month, you get a monthly review reflection, which has all these assessments that you have to fill out as well as checking in with your goals. And finally, at the end of the monthly reflection, you get to see the monthly calendar where you map out your big events, just so you can have an overview of what's upcoming in your month. Once again, since this planner is undated, you have to date your calendar by yourself. The good thing about being undated is you can start with whatever date, the 10th, the 11th, it doesn't have to be the 1st, the 2nd, and so forth. I find that to be a very nice feature, especially if you're someone who is not consistent with your planner use and you tend to skip pages. This one, you will not have to waste any more pages since you're the one who's dating them. So before I start filling out my planner, I want to show you guys these pens that I got from Amazon and these pens are just it. Instead of using highlighters, which basically lick through the pages they are fine points they write very very fine and it just makes your handwriting look so neat and i'm going to show you guys and these are the colors that i'm going to be using to color code so if you remember the orange is for youtube pink is for instagram this royal blue is for my practicums this light blue is going to be for one class that i'm taking green for work black for events appointments 
the purple I'm just going to use to date the planner overall and the white which is actually a brown I'm just going to use for personal events and yeah don't forget to check the description for the direct link to the pens without further ado let's just jump straight into setting up this planner and I'm going to start by doing the assessments <music> Up next, I'm going to pull out my phone calendar so I can date the calendar for the month of January. Once that's done, I'm going to refer to Trello app on my iPad so I can input all the major monthly events that I have coming up on my Trello app. And I'm also going to refer to my phone calendar where I usually set my personal events or meetings or something personal that I have to do. And I'm going to merge all those events into the planner. This is where I also color code using all the pens I showed you. And right now I have the orange pen, which means I am inputting all the due dates I have for my YouTube channel and then I'm going to do the same for Instagram, I'm going to do the same for personal events, I'm going to do the same for my practicums, for work schedules and so forth. I am done. This is what my planner now looks like after it's all filled out. This is my assessment portion, my daily to-do list and today was Sunday when I was filming this so that's what I had on on my to-do list. And this is how my month at a glance looks like. It has all the events that I have coming up, my due dates for Instagram and YouTube. And that is it. I hope you guys learned something from this video. Until next time, bye-bye. Thank you.